Hello again, guys. It's your boy Vex there again. Uh, we are back with a tier two drivers from the Aero League Racing's Gran Turismo 7 Series. This is round four, race two. We're at Sardegna Road Track B. This is a reverse grid, so we'll have a quick rundown through the grid. Slimmy is on pole. We got Ryan second place. The dude is in third. Black Widow fourth. Skinzy fifth. Isaac is sixth. Tieps is seventh. Jack is in eighth. Filthy is ninth. Syndra 10th, SV5 11th, uh, SV5 is in the RCF now, Ben is 12th, Chris is 13th, so I'm not too sure if maybe, who was it, SV5 was supposed to be running the RCF in the first race, but obviously as you can see he's now in the RCF, so I'm not entirely certain what has gone on there but without further ado we shall get into this feature race this is a rolling grid as you should probably know by now <laughs> and they're off this is the feature race the feature race is the go slimmy is heading up the pack we got right in second place the dude looking like he's going for a move he's looking up the inside no, that's actually the outside, isn't it? Ryan's covering off the inside into turn one. Black Widow, she's having a look as well. We're having a bit of a sniff. Currently fourth place. So Ryan, he's dropped down to third. The dude managing to get past. He went around the outside. Ryan covered off the inside. Not really a lot he could do there. So we've got Black Widow fourth place. She's looking for a move now on the dude. And she's managed to get past Ryan. So that was a great move there from uh, from Black Widow. She's now trying to put the dude under some pressure. Ryan's trying to come back as well. In a bit of a sandwich there. Skinzy was on the outside. Oh, he's been turned around again. Oh, there's a lot of collisions going on in the background. It looks like a few people getting caught up in them shenanigans. Black Widow managing to hold on to third place currently. She's got Isaac all over the back of her now, though. He's going to be close enough to go for a move. Skinzy going for a move at the inside of Isaac. Not quite getting it done. He's got Jack to contend with as well and Syndra. <clears throat> they're two Aston teammates they're now putting Skinzy under all sorts of pressure Skinzy trying to hold on to that fifth position got Jack behind him where's his teammate got his teammates dropped just behind just Filthy who is currently seventh place so Syndra there in eighth Ben is ninth Chris is tenth SV5 eleventh Tieps twelfth and Ryan all the way down in thirteenth now that's unlucky Ryan, I guess he must have been one of the people that got caught up in the shenanigans. On lap one, I believe it was, Slimmy. He started to create a bit of a gap now, hasn't he? Started to try and drive away with it. He did this before though, didn't he? We'll see if he can look after his tyres. Maybe go for a slightly different strategy this week. I can't quite remember which one he did last week. I think he actually did run the softs in his first stint last week, so... Be interesting to see how the mediums hold on for him. I saw a couple of people under fuel in the car as well last week. So Black Widow, Black Widow, she's up to second place. We've lost somebody, haven't we? There was somebody else was challenging her, but not sure it is. He's disappeared though, whoever it was. Isaac, Isaac currently third place. He was ahead of Widow. She's managed to get past him and create a bit of a gap now. He's now having to go defensive against Jack, who is in fourth. Jack did so well, didn't he, in the sprint race? Only managing sixth in the end. I think he must have had a moment towards the end of the race, maybe the tie away, getting the better of him. Currently back up to fourth, though, so having a stellar race at the moment. He's pushing that dodge of Isaac along. Is he going to have the inside here? He's letting know Isaac's shown him the long way round. He's going to try and go for the switch back. Not quite that time. Almost a bit of contact there between the two of them. So Chris, Chris, Chris has come from nowhere. He's moved up to fifth place. That's a turnout for the books. He won the sprint race, didn't he? So he started right at the back of the field. Skinzy, his teammate, currently sixth place. He would do well to stay with uh, stay with Chris, I think. He might be able to bring one to the top three. So SV5, obviously we saw in the M6 and the sprint race, now in the RCF. Doesn't seem to be phasing him though. 
would definitely be intrigued to or interested to see to find out what car he is definitely supposed to be in I would assume it would be the RCF I'm guessing that maybe somebody probably told him during the sprint race he was in the wrong car so obviously changing it to the RCF for the feature race both fairly similar cars looks wise and characteristics Tieps Tieps 44 he's currently 8th place the dude up to 9th Sindra Sindra dropping all the way to 10th so Sindra having a bit of a moment somewhere not too sure what happened we must have missed it just filthy just filthy's 11th currently Ben Ben is 12th Ryan all the way down in 13th. As I say, I think maybe this track not really suiting the 4C. Too many changes to the direction. And now we've got a new race leader, so Black Widow. Black Widow is taking up the race of the lead. The lead of the race. The race of the lead. Black Widow is <laughs> it's your new race leader. She is trying to run away with it now. She's created a bit of a gap to Slimmy. Slimmy was there, wasn't he? He had, the, he had the gap, so he must have had a moment somewhere. He must have done. Although we've seen that Black Widow, she has pulled some decent results out of the bag in that Mazda RX Vision. Both taking very different lines down the start finish. I feel that Slimmy is staying to the left there to try and break that wind. Just coming from left to right. Try and break some of the wind resistance coming down the start finish. It does look like he's actually started dropping off the back of uh, Widow somewhat now. If you look back, you can see that gap has definitely extended. <coughs> So we've got Widow. Widow is currently first place. we got Slimmy second place. Nice gap between them two and Jack in third. Jack has got a bit of a gap of the cars forming behind him now. Bit of a train. Oh, bit of a moment there as well. Held on to it though. That was a great save from Jack. So Jack is currently third place. Skinzy. Skinzy's up to fourth. So he's passed his teammate now. And Isaac. I think Isaac was fourth, wasn't he? Isaac's dropped down two places, down to sixth. Skinzy passed his teammate, he's up to fourth. His teammate Chris is in fifth. And Isaac, as I say, sixth place. SV5 still currently seventh. Being put under some pressure now by Tiep. Tiep's in eighth. Tiep's looking like he was going to go the long way round. He started pulling over and made SV5 move over slightly and then took that inside. A whole bit of contact there between... SV5 and TX on the break in, but TX managing to hold that position for the meantime. SV5 is putting them under some enormous pressure now, though. And Syndra, Syndra's back up to ninth place. The dude, the dude now being put under some pressure by Ben. Looking like Ben's trying to set the move up, just filthy with him as well. Dude holding that position nicely at the moment, he's defending like a champ. Oh, Ben is going to have it though, isn't it? He's got the inside here. Oh, he edges the dude out slightly though. That was, yeah, it was definitely unfortunate. By all rights, Ben possibly should wait for the dude, but as I say, not a not yet a steward, so we'll let him crack on. We've just seen the first of our guys in the pits, so that's Ryan in the pits and the Alpha. He's going to be putting a new set of boots on. He is on the mediums currently, so he will probably be going for the softs. Maybe a little prematurely, I feel, unless he's actually retiring that car. 
he's not come out again yet, so I wonder if that is the first retirement we're going to see this evening. I'd say he just didn't look very comfortable, did he, with the uh, track-car combo. My 4C looking like it's a bit of a handful round here. So Widow doing a cracking job at the moment. She's actually got the fastest lap as well with a 120.135. Slowly approaching the 10 minute mark of this race, obviously being a 40 minute sprint race. Oh, she's actually put a faster lap in, so that's a 119.8 there for, uh, for Black Widow. Slimmy. Slimmy still holding on to that second place currently. Skinzy and Jack not really close enough to be able to go for a move. They can't launch any sort of attack at the moment. They've just got to try and stay with him, close that gap. The Skinzy still currently third place. And in fact, as I say that, he is doing what I said he would do. He's closed that gap. He's going to be... He's definitely in striking distance now, isn't he? Or he was. So Slimmy doing all he can to keep that second place. He's got to be making that Corvette as wide as he possibly can. Oh, was the RC set of Chris Skinzy's teammate in the background there on a bit of a moment. He managed to hold it though, but yeah, Skinzy, Skinzy looking for the move. He's going to get it done. I think he's got it up the inside. They're alongside now. He's going to have the inside for this next turn as well, and he's got it done. That was a great move there from Skinzy. Moving up to second place. He set it up over a number of corners. Got it done in the end. Slimmy, Slimmy looking to come back now, though. Trying to go the long way round. Skinzy holding that inside line. He has managed to keep it. I think this is the closest battle at the moment between these three guys. Skinzy, Slimmy and Jack. Second, third and fourth. Three-way battle for second place. Meanwhile, Black Widow, she's got a nice bit of breathing space now, hasn't she, to the rest of the field. And Skinzy, Skinzy, he's actually managed to steal that fastest lap off of her. He managed to do a 119.6. I think Black Widow's was a 119.8. So a whole 200s faster. He's now looking to create a gap now to uh, to Slimmy and Jack. He's got the work done, hasn't he? So just trying to extend and make it a bit easier to keep that position. He's gone for the softs on his first stint, so be interesting to see how long he can make them last. So Slimmy. Slimmy getting caught out there by Skinzy. As I say, Skinzy setting up that move over a couple of corners and finally managing to get past Slimmy. He started trying to come back, then he done a start finish, but he wasn't in the position to do so. And he has started, it looked like he'd started dropping off the back of Skinzy, but I think he's managed to close that gap again. Doing all he can to stay with him. Still currently in that third podium slot. So some nice points on offer if that is where he finishes. He's got a way to go yet though, hasn't he? Jack. Jack's still currently fourth place. He was all over the back of Slimmy, but... That gap has opened up a little bit. I th we did see him have a slight moment there through that last turn. Well, a couple of turns back. Managing to hold it on the exit. I think it did dull his momentum somewhat. So he's still currently in fourth place. We've got Chris. Chris, the winner of the sprint race. Currently fifth.
Peugeot boys actually picking up some really good points so far this season. I think they'll be doing quite well in the constructors at the moment. So Chris is fifth. SV5 has just taken that position away from Isaac Miss. Isaac, Isaac Miss still all over the back of him though. It's Dodge versus Lexus. Has the Lexus got the beans to be able to keep that position? I think he has. And he has started to pull away from Isaac now. So, SV5. As I say, I think it's his debut with the Aero League races this week. I haven't noticed the name crop up before. As I say, he was in the BMW M6 for the first race, now in the Lexus, so I'm not sure how that will stand for points. Will he still get points for race one, or for this race, whichever race he was or wasn't in the correct car for? Oh, I'm not sure. You'll have to wait and see, you'll have to wait and tune in and find out. I'm sure it will be revealed on the Discord. If I can find out some information before Monday, then I will let you know on Monday. Yep, 24 trying to go for a move on Isaac. He's closed up as well. Isaac looking like he's going to lose that place. I thought he was going to lose it on turn one, but he defended beautifully. He just gave Tieps no room to pass, and he's still currently trying to find a way past at the moment. Isaac still currently 6th, Tieps is in, no sorry, Isaac is 7th, Tieps is 8th, Syndra up to 9th, so Syndra not looking as comfortable this week as he did in some of the previous rounds, but we have seen this before, he, I think he saves his tyres maybe through the first stint tries to get the most out of him as he can so he's got more pace in his second stint so I think we will see him make up a few places yet just filthy 10th place currently as we do see some more people going into the pits now Skinzy's in there he's gonna get rid of them soft Ryan is still in there Ben let's move through to 10th place Skinzy dropping down the order as he's in the pits the dude I don't think the dude is gonna manage to get past he must have had another moment somewhere Black Widow, she's still controlling the lead of this race. She's got a lovely gap now, hasn't she? Only just see Jack creeping into the shot there. Wait, who, did we lose someone? Skinzy was up there, wasn't he? Oh no, he, he's had to pit, hasn't he? So yeah, Skinzy dropping down the order as he pitted. I think that was who I'm missing from the top of the field. So Widow now into the pit. She's going to be getting rid of them soft. Jack, he's on the mediums. He fancies staying out for a few more laps. He's going to favour track position. He is on the medium, so he should be able to do so quite easily. He is being followed by Chris, though. Chris, Chris looks like he's on the better tyres. So Chris on an absolute stormer at the moment. He won the sprint race, didn't he? So starting at the back of the grid. We're only on lap 14 and he is now up to second place. It's absolutely putting that RCZ for its paces. He is still yet to pit though, so it'll be interesting to see where he comes out when he does pit. SV5 up to third place. Still out on warm mediums, still yet to pit. Same for Isaac, still yet to pit, up to fourth place currently. That will change though, won't it, when he pits. T 
Tieps. Tieps, fifth place. Syndra behind him in sixth. Syndra, Syndra looking for the move. He's going to go up to the inside. And he gets it done. That was a good move there from Syndra up to fifth place. Also on warm mediums. Tieps dropping to sixth. He's going to try and stay with uh, Syndra though, isn't he? I did say though, didn't I? I thought Syndra possibly saving his tyres for the first stint. It looks like he's now starting to push on them. Try and make up as many positions as he can before he does pit. He's got Isaac Mitch in his sights now. Field is actually quite bunched up now. We've got a few stragglers here and there, but otherwise, the drivers are quite. There's not too many spaces between them, which is nice. It means that it's anyone's game still. The Syndra is starting to try and set that move up on Isaac, closing up through the braking zones. Not quite managing to find his way past yet. I think we are going to see it come soon. He is really starting to put the pressure now onto Isaac. I think this may be where we see it come. We're going to stay on board on the approach to turn one. For the 16th time, Syndra versus Isaac. And he hasn't quite managed to get it done. So Isaac managed to stay ahead through turn one. We will come back to these guys. Obviously halfway through this race now. Tieps. Tieps is sixth. So we've got Jack still currently first place. We've got Chris in second. SV5 is third. We've got Isaac in fourth. Sindra is fifth. We've got Tieps in sixth. Slimmy is seventh. Just Filthy is eighth. Skinzy ninth. Black Widow tenth. Ben eleventh. The Dude twelfth and a retirement from Ryan. So Jack, Jack still currently race leader. I think it was Jack we saw under fuel last week, didn't it? I think he had to go back into the pits because he, he misjudged his fueling and he wasn't gonna make it to the end of the race. Now under all sorts of pressure from Chris. Chris looking for that move. I think Chris is on the better tires. Jack feels like he can do another lap on them very heavily worn mediums now. Chris definitely has got the grip advantage. Syndra has dove into the pits. Looking for the undercut. Jack doing well to stay ahead of Chris at this point. Yeah, Jack's under all sorts of pressure now. He's having a go defensive, isn't he? Oh, he nearly didn't cover off that inside, closing the door quite late there. Chris was brave on the brakes, though. There was no contact. Oh, no, no, it's contact. There. He's gone into the wall. No, Chris. It's unlucky for Chris. So, Jack, he's going to stay in that first place for the minute. SV5, though, moving up to second place. Chris is dropping down the order now. Just running a little bit wide through that fast left hand, uh, clipping the barrier on the right hand side and it's spun him round. That's unlucky Chris, he was on an absolute charge there as well, sometimes it's uh, quite hard to judge, well, quite hard to see some of the uh, apexes and some of the barriers and stuff when you're that close following someone. So Jack is now peeled into the pits, SV5, he fancies it, he stayed out for track position, he's going for the overcut. Not sure if he's got enough fuel to make it for one more lap. I hope he has. We'll have to stay on board and find out, won't we? So SV5, second race of the season, and he's out in first place. He is the new race leader. So I'm actually hoping that 
he does get points for both races, even though he's in different cars, because he has put on a display tonight, hasn't he? He's, he's had a cracking drive, and currently the new race leader. Is he going to be able to pull out that magical gap, though? Ben is currently the fastest guy on track for 119.493. SV5, he's not on a massively fast lap, is he? But he may have done enough just to stay ahead of the rest of the guys. You never know. I'm sure he's going to peel into the pits this time. And he does. So we're going ball with Slimmy. Slimmy currently second place. Oh, Slimmy's yet to go into the pits as well. He's going to be following him in. So Skinzy, I think Skinzy's going to become the new race leader. And he does. So Skinzy moves through to take the lead of the race. He's already pitted. He'll be trying to take them soft to the end of the race now. Maybe pitting a little bit prematurely. The undercut has worked for him though. Let's just see if he can hold on to them tyres. Yeah, I've got Black Widow to contend with as well. She's not too far behind him. We have seen how far she can be. She is on the mediums, though. She's got the back marker of Dude behind her. So Jack, Jack, are quite a way off the rest of, uh, quite a way off of Widow and Skinzy. He's got a lot of work to do to try and catch up to him, but maybe he'll just settle for the third place and just try and create a gap to the rest of the field. Hold on to that third position. He has got SV5 to contend with. We did see SV5 on a great strategy there. As I say, on a great outing this evening, round four. Syndra up to fifth. And I do believe everyone has pitted now. So everyone will be looking to take these tyres to the end of the race. Chris down in 7th. Isaac 8th. Ben 9th. Slimmy all the way down in 10th. Just Filthy 11th. The Dude 12th. So Skinzy. Can he bring this one home? He's got a nice gap now, hasn't he? To Widow. Widow's got to be a good eight seconds, if not more, up the road now. She fancy this one, but she's got a little bit of work to do now to try and get onto the back of Skinzy. I think she's going to be hoping that them softs fade very quickly and give her the advantage to be able to get past him. Jack's still currently third place. See SV5 behind him with a slight penalty. He was a lot closer than he looked, wasn't he? So I guess SV5 must have had a bit of a moment, maybe not getting them tyres to switch on as quick as he wanted to. Oh no, he's had a bit of another moment. No, hold on to it. He's held it. Syndra all over the back of him now, though, piling on that pressure. It's going to be like a pressure cooker in that Lexus at the moment, isn't it? He's got that penalty to contend with, and he's also got Syndra all over the back of him. So 
Syndra is still trying to make it past SV5. I think this might be one of the closest battles on track at the moment. SV5 doing all he can to make that Lexus as wide as he can. He is going to lose that position when he serves that penalty though. All Syndra has to do is keep with him. You see he moves through easily as SV5 serves that penalty. Syndra up to fourth. SV5 down to fifth. Looking like he still might be in a position to try and re-challenge Syndra for that fourth place. If he keeps it consistent, they may even be able to get onto the back of Jack. He's not too far up the road. But I think second and first are definitely not within reach now. As we approach the 30 minute mark. Tieps and Chris, Tieps and Chris having a bit of a battle. Tieps covered off that inside early. Chris is looking for a way past, but not finding it so far. And in fact, they're not too far behind SV5 and Syndra. So if they keep battling up ahead, it may bring these two guys into the battle as well. Looking like the Peugeot loses a bit of the momentum along the straights, but it gains it in the corners. Stefan got very good corner in speed. So Ben Tieps, his teammate, down in eighth. He's only one position behind. Slimmy up to ninth. Just filthy, not really making a stamp in this second race. Currently 10th. My two Dodge teammates, Isaac and the dude, 11th and 12th currently. So Skinzy, Skinzy is still your race leader. I wonder if he's under fuel though. It's not looking like that is going to take him to the end of the race. I do think he might have to pit again. That may be an error in strategy there from Skinzy. Or maybe he was going for a two-stop all along. Perhaps he realised that the soft's not lasting as long as he might have liked them to, so going for the mediums in the first stint, swapping for the softs, not taking on too much fuel so he can create a bit of a gap, try and get that magical 26 seconds. I'm not sure if it's that around here, but around most of the tracks it's, a, it's around 26 seconds, isn't it? Then you can pit at your will, come back out, still be ahead of the rest of the field. Yeah, that fuel definitely isn't going to take him to the end of the race. Is he going to pit now? So yeah, he's going to dive into the pits now. Is Black Widow going to take up the lead of the race? I think she is. New race leader, Black Widow. Askins, he's just giving it away. She has got to make the mediums last at the end of the race, but she's definitely got enough fuel. Skinzy actually losing a few, pos a few positions now. Where's he going to come out? Down to 6th, down to 7th, down to 8th. Oh, Skinzy. It's unlucky, brother. I'm not sure if that was the strategy he was going for, or if he just maybe underfueled slightly. So, 
Black Widow new race leader. Jack is up to second place. He's got his teammate behind him, Syndra. Syndra's in third. Be interesting to see if there's any team. Oh no, Jack! Jack's lost it up ahead. Syndra's gone through. But Jack, Jack dropping to third place. He had a massive moment. He's got damage to that car as well. That is going to cost him. I think he might lose that position to SV5 as well. Where is SV5? He's there. He's going to start trying to assert that pressure onto Jack now. Try and force him into another error. Did see that Aston looking very twitchy, wasn't it? He almost lost it, almost had a complete spin, but managed to save it. It was a great save. Six minutes left. SV5 now trying to challenge Jack. He's trying to get onto the back of him. He's not too far away from that slipstream range now. We've got Chris. Chris is up to fifth place. Tieps sixth. His teammate Ben. No, Ben. Oh, Ben's had a huge moment. Slimmy, he's gone through. So Slimmy moving up to 7th place. Skinzy, he's back up to 8th after that pit. He dropped to... Oh no, he dropped to 8th, hadn't he? So Skinzy not actually moving up any positions yet. He's going to be trying to... Trying to make the most of them fresh tyres. Try and gain some more positions. Just filthy up to 9th. Ben all the way down to 10th now. I think he's starting to feel the tyre wear. Isaac, 11th. And the dude, the dude getting blue flag now. He's in the middle of the year. Uh, he's causing a bit of traffic for some of the other drivers. He's currently 12th. Not a great race for him. Not a great race for Ryan either, who's obviously retired the car. I think maybe he's had some mechanical issues. They couldn't get it sorted in time, so he's just kept the car in the pits. Black Widow, we saw she had some mechanical issues, didn't she? I think it was last week. Not plaguing her this evening, though. She's still currently the race leader. She's looking good for it at the moment. Four minutes to hold on. Massive gap now to Syndra. Syndra now passed his teammate. Obviously Jack had that moment, didn't he? So Syndra didn't really have to work for it. I think maybe they would have swapped positions anyway because Syndra obviously, I think he's ahead of Jack at the moment in the uh, standing, so. Black Widow. Cracking race in the second race. Trying to make it two wins for the season. As I say, she, she had some strange mechanical issues. It looked like she she broke a tie rod or something. The car just wasn't steering. Every time she kept going, it was slopping from side to side. It was yeah, definitely something they had to get it in the garage and work on, but they got it sorted for this week. And she's looking strong. Syndra. Syndra is up to second place. He didn't have a great first race, did he? But I did say... He was a bit further down the field. I did say I thought he was conserving his tyres, saving them through that first stint, which is why he was out of position somewhat. But he's now up to second place. So definitely the strategy paying off for him this evening. I'm sure he'd be happy with that. Some decent points on the cards for him. He's also got a fastest lap for 118. 118.8. And he's not under any pressure either, is he, from uh, anyone. And in fact, has Widow, has she had a moment? I thought she had a huge gap to Syndra. We can see him there in the background. Is he going to be able to challenge her for the lead of the race? 
It looks like he's on an absolute flyer. He is starting to catch her. So the fight for first place may be heating up yet. Yeah. I thought maybe Widow had done enough to secure it quite easily, but it's looking like Syndra might be in a position to start challenging her. As we come into the final minute of this race, we're going to have a quick rundown. So we've got Widow still currently first place, Syndra is second, SV5 is third, Chris is fourth, TF's fifth, Slimmy sixth, Just Filthy is seventh, Skinzy eighth, Isaac is currently ninth. Ben is 10th, Dude is 11th, so Ben, oh yeah, he had a moment, didn't he? We saw he had a moment, but the dude, who's he creeping up to now? Is that Ben? Not sure. I think Widow, I think she's going to get through to do another lap. And it crosses the start finish line, start lap 30. Hopefully with enough fuel in that car. Looking like she's maybe having a fuel save now. This is the final lap for them. So the top six, six managing to get through again. Just Filthy is going to bring it in seventh. We've got Skinzy is going to finish in eighth. Isaac is going to bring it in ninth place. Ben will be tenth. The dude, 11th. So Widow, can she hold on to it? Has she got enough fuel? Syndra's not too far behind her now. Only a few more turns to go. So, oh, Syndra is closer than he ever has been. Has he got the beans? Has he got the grip to be able to get onto the back of her and maybe get past before the start finish line? I'm not sure. It's definitely heating up now, isn't it? Oh, we got a yellow flag. Why have we got a yellow flag? It's been some shenanigans and she's done it. She's managed to do it. She takes the checkered flag. Great race there from Widow. First place, Syndra. He's going to take second. SV5, third place. Chris, fourth. Tieps, fifth. Slimmy, sixth. Just Filthy, 7th, Skinzy, 8th, Isaac, 9th, Ben, 10th, The Dude, 11th, and Ryan's going to finish in 12th place. Well, that was a great, great race there, wasn't it, guys? Hope you enjoyed that one. That was round four from the Aero League Racers Tier 2 drivers in the Gran Turismo 7 Series. Hope you enjoyed that one. I've been your boy, Vex. Good night.